everyone, I'm Brugly, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over an extremely crazy backrooms level that's been nicknamed Game Over. Now, this one might actually be the end of the road for a wanderer's journey through the backrooms, so if that sounds cool to you, then you're definitely gonna enjoy this video. And without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Also, I have a second channel where I upload every day, and I'm trying to hit 50k over there, so if you wanna check it out, Thank you. All right, now let's get into the video. So Backroom's level game over is classified as a class dead zone, and it's classified that way because it has a ton of hazards and overall is just really dangerous. The level is actually connected with level press start, which I went over just a couple weeks ago link in the description, and it's thought that this level was actually created by an entity, specifically Entity 555, which is the name for these two sets of eyes that have been seen in the shadows on several backrooms levels. The entity itself is pretty aggressive, specifically the red set of eyes, but other than that, there's not much known about it. All that's known is that they seem to control this level, level game over. The level itself is made up like a ton of backrooms levels are dark and winding hallways that go on for an infinite length and they dead end at random spots. There are random staircases that go up or down, some of them lead to nothing, some of them lead to more halls, and all of these hallways are made out of some type of concrete, and they can either be normal sized or really tight to walk through. They also change so much the further you go into the level that it's kinda hard to get a mental map. It's even thought that Entity 555 might be controlling the level's layout and making it constantly change. Along the halls, there are also an occasional room or two that you can go in, and they normally look like bedrooms or living rooms from real life, except they kind of look old and abandoned, and even in some cases, run down. These rooms can also have supplies, like almond water and stuff, but it's not recommended to go in unless you know for sure that nothing's following you. And you'll know what I mean by that in a second. Now, if you remember what I said in the level press start video, you'll know that you can either beat the game in that level to be sent out, or if you try to cheat the game, you'll be sent to level you cheated. But this is the level that you go to if you lose the game, or if you don't fully complete it. So if you don't complete the game on level press start, you'll be sent here to game over. It's almost like this level is a punishment for losers. So when you first get here, you will see it's T555 right in front of you. They'll be just a few feet down the hallway in the darkness, and that's how you'll know stuff is about to get real, because trust me, it's about to get crazy. From here on out, the level is actually split up into different chunks, or as they call it, events. Each event just makes your life worse and worse, so I'll get into them right now. Event 1 starts when you've spent a full day in this level. And during this time, the entities that lurk deep in the dark halls and in vents will start to climb around and chase you, and you'll have to try to hide and avoid them. Event 2 starts just after three days of staying alive here, and the main part of this event is that liquid pain will start to leak out of the cracks in the walls and drip from the ceilings onto you. That's obviously not good, because if you just touch the stuff, it can hurt you, and you'll have entities chasing you, so it's getting worse. Event 3 starts just after a week of someone surviving this terrible place, and it's at this point when most people meet the end of their backroom's journey, and it becomes game over, because they unalive. Yes, I have to say unalive, or YouTube gets mad at me. I'm sorry. But most people, they won't even make it past this event because their paranoia is going so crazy and the entities are chasing you and the liquid paint's falling on top of you and overall you're just starting to break down and just lose your mental health. I mean, at this point, you'd have been running around cramped concrete halls for seven days with monsters chasing you and liquid paint dripping on you. So I kind of understand how you're losing your sanity. Now, as of right now, it's unknown if anyone's actually made it past event three because that's where most people People either escape or they but it's thought that event 4, the next event, is when Entity 555 itself will start chasing you down. So hopefully you can get out of here before that happens, because no one knows what that entity will actually do to you. Some people have just heard screams echoing through the halls though, that's fun. To enter this level, you have to not beat the game on level press start, 
and it's also thought that you could get sent here if you break a game on level 3999, which is actually a backroom's exit level itself. So if you're on any level with any games, don't break the game or try to lose it or whatever because you'll be sent here. To exit this level, you can try to noclip into a random room that you run across and you'll be sent out, but that hasn't always worked, and some people have actually tried to run into a room and have gotten trapped by entities, so yeah. Or another exit is that you can try to survive long enough to see an exit appear, which kinda happens sometimes, but no one really knows for sure. Who knows? It's a backrooms. So yeah, to summarize real quick, this level is connected to level press start, and you're sent here if you don't beat the game on that level, as a sort of punishment. An entity called Entity 555 runs this level, and seemingly controls its layout, entities, and everything else about the environment. And you can only get out by being really lucky with no clipping. Doesn't that just sound fun, y'all? That's it for the video, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, let me know while you're down in the comments. And while you're down there, comment over Brugly, so I know that you're a real one. Also, huge announcements, if you're still watching, you're gonna be the first people to see the merch design for the new Winter Brugly merch drop that I'm gonna be releasing in the middle of December. This merch drop is the first merch I've ever done. The drop is called Truth in the Illusion. And I've got hoodies, t-shirts, blankets, mugs, phone cases, everything like that, it's gonna be in this drop. I came up with this really cool design, made it myself. It's on the back of each t-shirt and hoodie, and on the front of the hoodie is the five eyes for Brugly. On the back is a guy jumping through two backrooms walls, and then also the five eyes for Brugly. And under that design is a really cool quote that I found that pretty much describes the backrooms. It says, the slightest of imperfections can, like a pin in a balloon, burst the illusion, and the truth behind the illusion becomes revealed. And that quote is on everything, so this drop is so cool. I've done a lot of work on this. I hope you do enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Making it literally as cheap as possible to where I only make like a dollar off of each shirt because I want everybody to be able to purchase this. I want everybody to have access to it. So... Be prepared for this drop, more photos coming soon with me in the merch and more actual proper photo shoots and stuff. I'll let you know the official drop date soon. Thank you so much for watching. I wanted to make this merch like really cool, even like to where I myself would wear it. And I made this design exactly for what I was looking for. I really hope y'all enjoy it. It's kind of just like this creepy retro wave liminal ARG type design with like the glitchy river leading to the mountains. And then I think it just looks really cool. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts down below, seriously, because I'm interested to see what y'all say. Thank you. I love each and every one of you.